Non-destructive editing in Pro Tools and using the trim tool. I've got a drum loop that just was emailed to me from a friend. I'm gonna drag it out onto my project, go under the edit menu, and repeat it a few times so we can hear what we have. Let's see what he sent. Okay, that's a mess. Let's undo that repeat. It looks like we need to go in and edit this loop and fix it a bit. Let's zoom in by using the magnify tool. I can draw a box around the waveform and it will zoom in a little bit tighter for me. Let's watch as this goes by and listen to what the problem is. So it looks to me like this loop isn't starting on the one. So I'm gonna show you some non-destructive editing techniques to clean up this loop so that we can use it. Now there's two concepts in doing editing inside of Pro Tools. One is to highlight an area that you don't want and just delete it. And the other is to keep an area or highlight an area and keep it. I'm gonna show you both ways. So what we need to do is get rid of the beginning part of this audio file. It's what we call a region. So I'm just gonna click and drag with my selector tool and hit delete. You can see now the region it's what we call it, the piece of the audio in Pro Tools, is a little bit shorter now. The concept here is what you see in Pro Tools is what you hear, and if you don't see anything, you won't hear anything. So effectually, I've now tightened this loop up to start on the one. Now, rest assured, I haven't really affected this loop. I've done a non-destructive edit, so the original is still intact. And to show you that, I'm gonna show you how to do a non-destructive edit move with the Trim tool. I select the Trim tool from the Edit Tools, I can now click and drag at the edge of the region and you can see the line approaching. When I let go, it really performs the same edit that I performed with the delete key, but I can trim it back and you can see the original file there. When I perform this move and put this on the one, I can also go to the back part of the file and trim it so that I make a proper loop. Let's listen to that. There we go, that sounds much better. I'm gonna use my grabber tool now and just put this at the beginning of the project. I can go under Edit and choose Repeat. Now I should have something that works. So those are two ways of editing audio inside of Pro Tools. And remember, because it's all non-destructive, you can always go back to your original file.